And now it's been four years since the tragic bridge collapse at Florida International University. Six lives were lost, including an FIU student. Today, the school is honoring the victims. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn takes us to the unveiling of the memorial for them. I work and she see me working so many hours and she goes, Mommy, I'm going to start to become a lawyer because I want you to get out of this hole. I said, Mommy, I love my job, but I want you not to work anymore. Alexa Duran had many reasons for becoming a lawyer. Her mom was one of them. She was beautiful. She had a big heart. Uh, there always be support from everybody. But Alexa never got to make her dream a reality. She died four years ago when FIU's new pedestrian bridge suddenly collapsed onto Southwest 8th Street. <laughs> to mark this sad day, the university unveiled a statue to honor Alexa and the other five victims who died that day. The, the doves, there's 18 of them. It represents uh, each year of her life. She passed at 18 years old. And the dove is, I think, is a powerful symbol of, of peace and of the Holy Spirit. The five pillars represent the other victims. We are waking up of a bad dream. We were hoping that this is the dream that we are going to wake up and the result would have been different, but it's not. The Durans have accepted that Alexa will never come back, though her memory lives in their hearts. We want the future bridge to have safety considerations, especially one that says that the streets need to be closed to traffic and to people while the bridge has been put in place. Alexa's father, Orlando Duran, happens to be an engineer. He wants construction practices to change, potentially a reflection of the changes that Alexa might have pursued herself had her life not been cut short. It's because this does should be on vain for my daughter and the other five victims. Now there's going to be a temporary plaque to honor the victims and then a permanent one will go on the bridge once it's completed. At FIU, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.